Gemini. So let's jump into your bonus reading and see what the universe wants you to know. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and click that notification bell. So when I upload readings, you guys will be notified. All right, Gemini, when I was doing your pre-shuffle, I was picking up, this is so confusing. Somebody feels like you're really confusing them. They want to know how do you really feel about them because they're tired of growing through this with you. Now, if this is not, this could be you feeling this way. So take it how it resonates, Gemini. If it's not your person, then it's you. We have liquid courage here. Next couple of days, somebody may get drunk and drunk text you or tell you what's really on their mind because they've been drinking. We have truth. Yeah, you're going to get the truth about something or someone wants the truth. So it's like either this person is going to give you the truth, Gemini, or you're going to tell someone how you really feel. We have um, confession, clarity, and secrets revealed. Some of you may find something out, especially if you want to know how this person truly feel. You guys may have a conversation in the next couple of days, heart to heart. And it brings out a lot of energy that you guys have been suppressing with each other we have over it tired of the drama yeah someone doesn't want to keep fighting with you but we also have signs and synchronicities so there's some sort of message from the universe um that either you're feeling or your person is feeling that's going to jump start this uh conversation some of you may have had this conversation already but nope here it is Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Being vulnerable with each other. Finding a workable compromise because you're either giving someone the cold shoulder or they're giving you the cold shoulder and you're tired of it. You're like, I want to know what's going on. Like, what's happening? You feel like this person has something going on behind the scenes that they're not telling you about. Fake apology. Casual sex. control okay some of you feel like this person is trying to control you in some sort of way it's like either you want a relationship with me or you don't it's how you may be feeling or this person is feeling that way about you um they want a no strings attached romance to keep their options open for now no bad intentions just not ready to commit but i feel like when this person acts like this and then you give them the cold shoulder they can't take it so this is somebody who wants to control the situation and when they can't control it, then it's a problem. It says wanting to control you, expects you to cater to them or they give you the silent treatment or they ghost you. But then when you don't break or bend, then it becomes a problem and this person may treat you like you're the issue. Um, somebody may apologize to you. But you may feel like it's fake. You may not buy it. Or you're like, oh, they're only doing that because they want me to talk to them. But they're really not sorry for what they did. Or they're really not sorry for what they said. Somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side. And now they're realizing that it's not Gemini. We have makeup sex. We also have selfish. I need time to see if the... If there's better romantic options, but I feel like this person is seeing that it's not working out in their favor. We have the fight is not worth losing you. They want to make up for lost time. But they feel like you're being selfish right now. Their needs come first. Their way of the highway. Yeah, you're tired of this person treating you like it's all about them. Was a couple of cards that came out at once i'm going to take them um, yeah, four so we have options hard to get thinking of you and playing them somebody is avoiding taking responsibility and i feel like all they have to do is apologize take accountability for what they did so that you guys can get over this or move forward but you are on this person's mind they're thinking about you a lot but they feel like you're playing hard to get. They feel like you're rejecting them, but you still want them. And we have difficult decision. 
exploring possibilities, fear of choosing wrong. So I feel like this person has another option. They have someone else that they could they could be with. And you're like, okay, well then go ahead. Be with them then. It's how you're telling this person. But I feel like they this this is somebody who still wants you. They still want you. They feel like you're being selfish right now. Or you feel like they're being selfish. Again, take your heart resonates. Flip and reverse the roles as need be. But whatever's happening here, somebody's giving someone the cold shoulder and they don't like it. They can't take it. It's like giving this person a dose of their own medicine. And now they're feeling some type of way. We have secret crush. Memories. Love is being restored and communication at the bottom of the deck. Somebody has a crush on you. You may already know about this person. You may already know that there's someone else that likes you while you're trying to make a decision about this other person. But if you don't, it's showing up here. You have an admirer, someone who finds you very attractive. They either want to get to know you better or they want to be with you, but maybe they feel like you're keeping them as a friend. Um, there's also someone here who's looking at your picture. So I don't know if it's this person, if they have your social media. I mean, like if you guys are friends on social media and they're able to see your pictures and they're going through pictures, or if this is someone that you're not talking to that's looking at pictures of the two of you, or they may be looking at just your pictures. But we have love is being restored and communication is coming in. A lot of problems can be solved with communication. Yeah, and we also have weather in the storm. Somebody wants to talk. They want to send you messages, but they're either afraid or they just feel like you don't want to be bothered with them right now because we do have cold shoulder here and selfish. I've written you several texts, but in the end, I chicken out. And then we have storms pass on their own if you let them. It's easy to love them in the good times, but it's just as important to love them in the bad. Dark night of the soul. Somebody need to get their life in order. That's for certain. This person need to take some time out for themselves. And the universe is forcing them to do that with the dark night of the soul. We have unlocking secrets. One goal, two ways, and second chances. Bad choices. Somebody wants to reconcile with you, Gemini. They want a second chance here. They feel like they chose wrong. They made a bad choice. You could be attracted to someone who does things very different from you. But if you learn to communicate, you can make this work. And then we have unlocking secrets. So some of you, again, are going to find out how this person truly feels about you. And I feel like this is something that you've been waiting to do. And I feel like when you do, it's going to help you guys come back together or decide to continue to work on things. All right, let's get one more. no escape it doesn't matter how far i run my heart will always run back to you so this is how this person feels about you gemini all right so let's get some tarot six of pentacles strength card reversed The Ace of Cups reverse and the Fool. No wonder you're um, going through something with this person. You want an equal give and take. And this is someone who keeps playing games with the Fool reverse and the Ace of Cups reverse. And you're like, I don't have the strength to keep doing this. This could be with a Leo or an Aries. We have the Hermit. The Page of Cups. Your cards are flying out of the deck. The Nine of Cups reversed. And the Star. So there is healing energy here. I don't know. There's something about this situation, though, Gemini, where you're still not going to be happy or you're still not happy with this person. What is it that you feel is still missing? It could be with an Aquarius or a water sign here. With a page of cups, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. 
it's like you keep thinking about this and you're like, okay, I want to come back together with this person. I want to make things work, but I don't know. You may feel like even though you guys may heal the situation and come back together, you may feel like you're still not happy with something here. So we have the Nine of Wands, the King of Wands. You're dealing with a fire sign that's trying to stand their ground, but it's not going to work because the Two of Pentacles is here. This is somebody who really misses you. They miss talking to you or they miss being around you. Yep. And look at that. Six of Cups comes right out of the deck. Do we even need to go any further, Gemini? I won't stop your reading at 10 minutes, so we'll get some more cards. But yeah, this is someone who turned their back on you, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. But they're also not confident that they can stay away from you. There's something about you where they're like having some nostalgic feelings with the Six of Cups. The Two of Wands. The Seven of Swords. I see this person sneaking back towards you, maybe apologizing here. Maybe this is why you're going to feel like this apology is fake for some reason. The five of swords is reverse. You're like, no, you're not sorry. You just want me back. You just want me to talk. You want to make sure I'm not dealing with anyone else. Because I feel like they have a choice to make between you and someone else. But they may want to make sure that nobody has your attention, Gemini. Oh. All right, card for spinning in a circle. Somebody's spinning a block. <laughs> Somebody spinning a block, Gemini? That was a sign from the universe. Did you see how that card just kept spinning like that? I can't with your cards, Gemini. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is someone who was dragging their feet or it's an earth sign, a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. But you don't know how you feel about this person anymore. What is it about this person where they've changed your views on how you truly feel about them? We have the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Maybe this person has done too much for you to forgive them. Or you may feel like they really haven't changed. The changes like that you want to see, you're like, that's not overnight. It takes time. I know this person hasn't changed. Is how you're going to be looking at the situation. You may be wanting to know, like, what are their plans? What are their intentions? And the Ace of Wands is reversed. The Two of Cups is reversed. It's like sometimes you love this person, but sometimes you don't because of how they've treated you. I feel like somebody is very triggered here. Um, And with the Magician reversed, you may feel like it's hard to manifest with whoever this is. I don't see them giving up on you, though. The high priestess, universe is saying, trust your intuition when it comes to this situation. Do what you feel is best for you. Yeah, because you feel like you've been treated unfairly. With the uh, justice card reversed. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Seven of cups in the tower. And the seven of pentacles. Somebody feels like they don't care how much drama y'all go through. They're still going to want to be with you. And they want you to feel the same way. But I don't know if you feel the same way about this person. Because the six of wands is reversed here. You may feel like no matter if y'all come back together. Or no matter if y'all start talking again. Like it's not going to be successful. Because you are really looking for some changes in this person. We have Aries energy here. Libra energy. All right, let's get one more. Oh, okay. Your card came out. The Lovers, the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Swords. You're really going to be telling someone what you feel about them. <laughs> With the Knight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune, there are some changes that are coming. You're going to be telling this person, if you're not ready to make any changes, then there's no need for us to be together. I might as well just walk away from this. And this could be a twin flame or a soulmate that you're dealing with. But you're like, I don't care how I feel about you. How you treat me is more important. So there's definitely some changes coming. So stay tuned, Gemini. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.